Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about India. India our motherland is vast and diverse. It is the cradle of one of the oldest civilizations in the world. Over the years, people of different races and faiths have made India their home. This is reflected in the diversity of language, culture and religion which we see in our country today. Today, with more than 1.38 billion people, India is the second most populous country in the world. India is in the continent of Asia. The land that makes up India comprises of the mainland and several islands. The mainland of India is a large peninsula bounded by seas on three sides. Lofty mountains in the north separate it from the rest of Asia. India is rich in natural resources and has diverse physical features. India is the world's seventh largest country with an area of 3.28 million square kilometers. The Tropic of Cancer runs about the central part of the country. South to North It extends from 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes. The mainland of India stretches over 3200 kilometers. It lies entirely in the tropical and the subtropical regions of the northern hemisphere. West to east, it extends for about 2,900 kilometers from 68 degree 7 minutes east to 97 degree 25 minutes east. The westernmost point is Gujarat and the easternmost point is Arunachal Pradesh. Peninsular India is roughly triangular in shape. To the west of it lies the Arabian Sea. To the east lies the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean lies to the south. The coastline extends for nearly 6,100 kilometers and a land frontier is of 15,200 kilometers. There are several neighbors of India. To the north of India, we have China, Nepal and Bhutan. To the east, Bangladesh and Myanmar. To the west, Afghanistan and Pakistan. And to the south, we have an island country, Sri Lanka, which is separated by the Pak Strait. To the south of Lakshadweep Islands, we have another island country, which is our neighbor, 
and that is Maldives. India is divided into states and union territories for administrative purposes. The states have been created mainly based on the language which the people speak. India has now got 28 states and 8 union territories. All the northern and the northeastern states are landlocked, that is, they do not have access to the sea. Rajasthan is the largest state which occupies a major part of the Thar Desert. Goa is the smallest state. Among the Union territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are in the Bay of Bengal and they are the largest, while the islands of Lakshadweep are in the Arabian Sea and the smallest. New Delhi is the national capital. This video was an introduction to the chapter Geographical Features of India. I hope you have liked the video and that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.